Now the next and most exciting step is actually getting to assemble your C-Perch frame. The pictures that we have on page five will give you the layout for the different parts. Now there are a lot of different ways to build it. Some people just start in a corner and work their way around. I don't know that there is a right or a wrong way. What you do want to pay attention to is the ones that you drilled those holes in. Okay. We'll go in the back of the frame. All right. The back of the frame is the one that has the low crossbar. All right. Okay. The next thing we do is we put that mesh underneath. But before we get hooked with that, you'll notice that even though you press this together, if you were to really press on it, it's going to shrink. You're going to continue to get it to squeeze together more and more. So what you want to do before you commit to zip tying that frame on the bottom, you want to give it a good squeeze and make sure it's relatively tight. Another thing that is good to do is take a look at the holes in the top. Each of these elbows, you see the way we drilled the vent holes, they'll either be on the top or on the sides. Mm -hmm. Okay, On these top parts, it works better if we can have them coming out the top rather than having them come out the side because this will allow air pockets to catch. And in the bottom, it doesn't make a difference because that's where so water is going in anyway. Right. The last step for construction of our frame is to take the payload netting. Now some people like to zip tie it and then after they're done zip tying it go through and trim the netting. Mm -hmm. The other way you can do it is trim the netting and then zip tie it. It doesn't make a difference but what you want to do is cut down, may I borrow yours? Yep. You want to cut down so you'll see the mesh netting sticks out from all sides if we put it centered. And this just is a bad opportunity for things to catch on it, um, mm -hmm. wires to snag. So what you'll want to do is offset it. So you can go ahead and zip tie these two sides okay. and then cut that with a scissor and zip tie it all together. Okay. Okay. So while you guys get that zip tied, it, we'll grab a pair of scissors so that you guys can trim that. Does it matter where you zip tie them? No, uh, generally you're going to want one or two in the back and then maybe two on each side or three going up each side just to make sure the mesh netting is nice and firmly secured to the vehicle. All right, so at this point we've completed unit one. We have cut and measured all the PVC. We've drilled all our frame mounting holes. We've assembled them all. We've made sure that our vent holes in the tops of the parts are all facing up. We've put our motor mounting pieces in the back of the vehicle as well as on the upper crossbar. We have our foam floats in place and we've trimmed and installed our mesh netting. Prepare to do unit number two.